But mm -mm. if you take it just for PR, if you take it just because there is not a lot of assignments, you're gonna end up <laughs> unhappy, dissatisfied, and depressed. And that was me in mm -hmm. 2019 when I had just moved to Canada. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Kush MC. You're watching SLE Canada. I make videos about study abroad, career growth, immigration, inspirational stories of our immigrants here in Canada. So if you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and like this video video so you help me grow here in YouTube. So in today's video, it's going to be another inspiring story that you can relate to. His name is Max. Max is an ex-international student from Halifax and he's going to share with you his biggest mistake that caused him two years of his life. The funny story is that I took culinary management that I did not like and now <laughs> And now I work as a YouTuber essentially. So I work yeah. with different, I work with brands. I help international students move to Canada and make their new chapter successful. So, so basically, you know, in New Zealand, I worked at a restaurant as a server. And yes. I thought, and I thought, okay, I like to be in the industry. And then if I take a culinary program, I'm gonna learn mm -hmm. the other side of uh, the industry. And that's what I put down in my letter of explanation. I mean, it's yeah. really good for a statement of purpose for the visa yes. officer, but it was really bad for my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, what happened was my thinking process essentially was yes. that uh, why not take a culinary program where you're not gonna do a lot of academically intensive things. Oh. So I thought not a lot of assignments. I thought uh, easy program. I thought uh, since I was a server, it's not going to be hard for me to be a cook. And that was completely wrong. Like that was mm -hmm. so bad that I decided to do that because I don't have anything against culinary. If you like, oh, yeah. if, if you see yourself in the career, you can thrive in it, you know, but mm -hmm. if you take it just for PR, if you take it just because there is not a lot of assignments, you're going to end up <laughs> unhappy, dissatisfied and depressed. And that was me in mm -hmm. 2019 when I had just moved to Canada, like mm -hmm. the first couple of months, I got really depressed because I was yeah. like, I locked, I locked myself into this um opportunity that's not an opportunity that's actually an obstacle to me i can super relate with max when i took business accounting because i was only focusing on the part where there's not a lot of assignments you're not gonna have a lot of group projects and also it's easy for me to get a full-time job for my immigration but you know what i was right however when i was in the industry and in like the real world experience I realized I didn't like numbers and also I don't want to be working just by myself. So basically the program that we took didn't fit us. But you know, always remember that just because you can doesn't mean you should do it. Always focus on the lane that you're good at and you're interested in because that's where you're going to excel. Because you know what? I realized my knowledge was so limited that when I was researching immigration, I only found out the part that your job has to be knock B, A, or zero. <laughs> okay, so what, yes. do I do what do I do next? I open the knock list and then, and then I go through you the saw, You saw the culinary, oh, this one seems, seems in interesting. And then... Se seems not interesting, it seems easy and something I know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm like, oh, you can be a cook without even like having experience. Let's do that. I was miserable doing my co-op, even co-op. So you know what? I always like to say that you shouldn't look for opportunities, but to create them. And that was ah, exactly. I love that. That was, that was exactly yeah, right. Some inspirational quotes. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to Ashley Podcast. <laughs> No, but that's so true because if mm -hmm. you don't like something, do something about it. Like even though mm -hmm. I was locked into the program, I knew that I have right now the opportunity to change my life and to pursue something I genuinely like and something that could help others. And that's the main reason why I'm launching the SD Student Mentorship because I want you to connect with other professionals in Canada who are currently working in the industry that you're eyeing for so that you can get the first-hand information and insight so before you take that program you can actually check and assess yourself if there's something that you want to do in the long run this is beyond everything like to have the right surrounding because mm -hmm. your environment makes you you know like because yes. if we didn't have each other maybe we wouldn't know certain things about the industry so it would take us much longer to get there that's why i always like to say i'm about to also launch a program to help people achieve their five-year goals you know and i always give this 
kind of analogy of the ocean. You know, Canada、mm. is separated. Canada is separated by two oceans:、uh, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So,、mm. do you want to swim across the ocean, or do you want to have a speedboat take you across? Yes. You know? and yes. And that's that's kind of having a mentor. What that is essentially、mm-hmm. to to have a speedboat that would take you across from your country to Canada.、Um, and、uh, in my case, like if I had a mentor, I'm pretty sure they would、uh, be able to identify that、uh, culinary is not my strong suit. You know. And if you found yourself stuck. In that situation, it doesn't mean that you have to stay there forever. Just like Max and I, we change our lives, so it's just important to get some support, surround yourself with like-minded people. Everything we do at the end of the day is creating opportunities for others, for ourselves. You could do it, like you said, without connecting to anybody, without、uh, paying like extra money. But long term, if, for example, me. If I could, I would definitely go for like a mentorship program or connect with somebody who has done it before me to understand that two years of my life is more important than a couple thousand dollars I spend, I invest into my future. This is one of the episode that I can super relate to, and if you want to continue listening to this episode, I have it in my podcast, Kwento Filipino Canadian Podcast, and I have it in my description box. And thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.